back for another video today guys I have my little helper with me say hi Jaden hi <laughs> all right so the Altesa is back um, I'm gonna be doing some adjustments to the tune I'm gonna be switching to Alpha N for fueling instead of the speed density because um, still having well, for the most part the map is pretty dialed in but he's still experiencing because of the VVT low minimum throttle high load um, the VVT is still swinging the airflows a bit so the airflow to the engine a bit so the fuel ratios are a bit rich climbing hills but for the most part everything is good so we're going to be experimenting with switching to alpha N okay and this is the fuel table I st I left the the spark alone for now um, this is the fuel table as you can see I switch normally the x-axis this one here would be map but in alpha n it's TPS reference so uh, we've done a couple stop JJ <laughs> So we've done a couple minutes of tuning thus far, and for the most part, we have it pretty dialed. Um, I have it targeting storage all here on the 20-25% throttle, all the way up to red line. It idles somewhere around 14 for now, and for the most part, anything above here, we into the low 14s up till here, and then anywhere, I think, I believe, not too sure, but anywhere after 50 percent we have it down into the 13s and dipping into the high 12s i believe um, i cannot really recall um, the map isn't complete yet so we're just chopping away at the fuel and trying to get it dialed in for now all right so we'll pick up with some more progress <laughs> Okay, so we pretty much done for the day. Yobi is gone. Um, the fuel map ended up looking something like this. This is a 3D view. It's, it's not something I'm used to in speed density, but I pretty much gave the motor what it wanted and the map ended up looking something like this. Um, if your ratios are pretty good, um, at wide open, anything above 50% throttle, VTI would be engaged and we have FUL ratios somewhere in the 12s, sometimes deep into low 12s, mid 12s, hovering around there. But for the most part, it's safe and pretty good. This is what the fuel table ended up looking like. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, so this is what the fuel table ended up looking like. Um, again, we switched from speed density. Now we're using Alpha N for the fuel map. Um, spark is still speed density I had I saw no need to actually change the spark map because it was pretty good and I had absolutely no problem with the spark map it was just the the fuel map 
that we had some variance with. Um, pretty much spent a few hours on the truck and in doubt, we took it on the street. And for the most part, we have um, FPL ratios on the control now. Okay, so the tuning went pretty well. Um, like I said, we pretty much have it dialed now. Um, we have a good control over FPL ratios. I also installed a Bluetooth module and installed my MS Droid on his cell phone. So now I can do some remote tuning for him via his cell phone. So he doesn't have to drive almost an hour to me to get the tuning done. Can do it from the I can do it from the comfort of my home. Um, we play the spark a bit, <laughs> but interestingly, um, the spark map which I made initially, um, what I did we we pulled out the plugs. We looked at the plug. The plug looked pretty good still. So I decided to try pushing some spark. I advanced. Okay, let's back up a bit. So we put the factory issue back on the track. We got a best of ninety miles an hour, like we got couple weeks and months ago so then back to back we got about two poles with 90 miles an hour um so with the speedway no ecu first run we got 91 miles an hour we did another run we got 91 miles an hour so we got an improvement of one mile an hour but it, but the the mile an hour doesn't tell a full story we we have a lot more talk in the bottom end in addition to the the to more top end so i pushed one degree of timing in the upper rpm and we lost two miles an hour we did it again we lost two miles an hour so with one degree of timing we lost horsepower so i put it back then we were back at 91 then i decided to pull a degree of timing to see and then we lost i believe we lost one or two miles an hour i believe one when we pulled so <laughs> It's just funny that the, I just, that we, okay, let me, let me get on my foot. So it's just funny that the, the spark map, um, we just did it based on feel and then rough, um, well, rough assumptions based on looking at the plugs initially and it turned out to be spot on. Um, so we just left it at what it was and then we just did some more fuel trimming. Um, still needs a little something, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Um, Pool is good, very talky, very responsive. So he's happy, I am happy. I may still tweak it a bit on via live tuning, maybe. Uh, depends on what he says when he gets home. But for the most part, the uh, Alteza is it's pretty much done now. I'm super impressed with the outcome. So to wrap it up, I switch the fuel map from speed density to alpha N and that fixed everything. We have a uh, better control over VVT now, and the car is pretty good. So I'll wait a couple of days. He'll give me some feedback as to how it feels after he drives it over for a couple of days. But for the most part, he shouldn't have any issues. Yeah. So I think this. I wanted to make this quick, so I'm gonna wrap it up now. So like anything else, guys, that should be the end of the Alteza project. Well, unless. Well, until he brings in his turbo parts and then we need to boost it and then that's another project altogether. But till then, guys, that's going to wrap it up for Project Alteza. And huh, like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Till then, guys, stay safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.